ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತ ಮಿರಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುಹುವನ್ಮೇಲಿ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ ಸೇ that if you have done good karma in the past life then in this life we can easily know it how somebody has a handsome body or somebody is born in a very rich family or somebody gets a high education or a high profession or somebody is enjoying luxuries in life so you can by seeing a person you can see he is eating nice food he is wearing nice clothes living in a big bungalow enjoying many facilities similarly if somebody has done bad karma in the past then in this life that also shows up somebody is having a diseased body somebody is having some legal implications somebody is born in a slum poverty stricken or somebody has some chronic illness bedridden or somebody is illiterate in this way good karma produces good results and bad karma produces bad results i am remembering a puranic story once upon a time a brahmana was taking a bath in a pond and a cow came running and entered into his kutir and one butcher came running behind and he was searching for the cow so he asked the brahmana hey did you see the cow and the brahmana was in confusion if i tell the truth he will go inside bring the cow outside and kill the cow which is very bad and if i tell him a lie that i didn't see the cow then i'll be acting against dharma so what i should do the brahmana was confused after thinking for a while he told the man by indicating the hand to his cottage he said the cow went inside and the brahmana was satisfied that i have spoken the truth so sure enough the butcher went in he dragged the cow outside and he slit her throat and killed the cow and the brahmana felt very sorry alas alas very unfortunate that the cow was killed he thought later in the next life ya ya brahmana this is another episode ya brahmana was entering into a village and it was becoming evening time twilight time so he went to a particular house and asked the owner of the house sir can i live in this veranda uh, can i sleep tonight in this place and the owner said no problem never mind you can sleep so as he was sleeping at night at the dead of the night the lady of the house got up and came there and said hey brahmana you are so effulgent you are young and i am also young come let's run into the jungle and let's enjoy with each other so brahmana said oh lady you are like my mother how can you ask such a thing of me it's a great sin you are already married shastra say matravat paradareshu one should see another man's wife like one's mother how 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 can you ask such a thing of me so the lady became very upset she told the brahmana oh you are not cooperating with me just wait and watch what i do she went in picked up a knife and stabbed her husband and killed him to death and husband screamed and fell on the ground, ground dropping dead and the whole village gathered there at her house hearing the screaming sound and the lady pinpointed hand to the brahmana and told the panchayat leaders that this brahmana is the cause of my husband's death he wanted to enjoy with me so he killed my husband like that she said so the brahmana was shell shocked how she has cooked a lie like this he tried to explain to the panchayat but people took the woman's side and the panchayat said since he is a brahmana we cannot kill him better 
cut off his hand with which he has stabbed her husband that was the instruction given so they cut off his right hand the brahmana thought why should i remain in this village even for a moment more let me leave this place and go away so the brahmana left the village and while leaving the village and reaching the frontiers he was very tired so he slept under a tree so he prayed to god my dear lord what did i do wrong that now right now my right hand is cut off so when he closed his eyes he got a vision that in his previous life he was a brahmana who pinpointed the hand to the butcher showing the direction in which the cow went because he spoke the truth he again got the body of a brahmana in the next life for that good act of speaking the truth he got the brahmana's body but because he showed the hand to cow because of which the cow was killed so in the next life his right hand was cut off <clears throat> because dharma means to know how to speak and act exactly at appropriate time because he he became the cause of the death of the cow his right hand was severed uh, in the next life and the cow became the wife in the next life and the butcher became the husband you see so because the butcher killed the cow in the next life the butcher himself became killed by the cow who came in the form of a woman so from this puranic story we can easily understand how for every action there is a equal and opposite reaction nobody can escape the reaction like you are walking on the road unknowingly you put your foot on an ant and you are causing a pricking pain to the ant in the next life what will happen when you are walking you will hit your foot against a table or chair and you will feel pain so in both cases there is pain one causes pain to ant one causes pain to you and this is how the karma karmic reactions are resolved in the next life so in our life according to our past good and bad the reactions are produced and they are stored in one universal set of karma which is called sanchit karma in our account and from that account uh, little little of the account is given in each life like in this life what is given to you is called prarabdha karma some punya some papa reactions are given to you and then you complete it the next life you are given again punya papa reactions are given just like you make a big chapati gola chapati ka aata you make and then you make one one gola out of it like that in each lifetime one one prarabdha karma is given to us and that is a mixture of sukha dukha sukha dukha like that otherwise if only dukha is there we will be finished we will not be able to take it so a mixture of sukha dukha according to punya pap is given to us and we all are reaping the fruits of our past activities and right now uh, you are very fortunate because you are getting knowledge about what is right and what is wrong the shastra say four activities are adharmic activities द्यूतम पान स्त्रिया सूना यत्र अधर्मश्चतुर्विधा श्रीमद्भागवत से मीट ईटिंग गैम्बलिंग इंटॉक्सिकेशन इलिसिट सेक्स दीज फोर ऐक्टिविटी आर सिंफुल ऐक्टिविटी ईटिंग फिश मीट आर एग्स इज ऐक्चुअली वायलेंस बिकॉज ग्रेट पेन टू दिस क्रीचर्स actually when we kill plants also we cause pain but the pain caused for plants is very minimal because the nervous system is very little developed and when we offer the plants or fruits to god he takes away the reactions but krishna says i only want you to offer vegetarian items don't offer me non vegetarian he says so we don't eat also and meat eating gambling gambling is against uh, uh, truthfulness because quick money and no money people become uh, thieves and rogues by gambling and intoxication means drinking smoking drug addiction uh, which makes our system unclean uh, it uh, puts us on a platform of hyperactivity also and uh, this addictions actually spoil us ruin us and make us behave like animals and finally illicit sex means sex before marriage or sex outside marriage which is not 
dirty or it considered unclean so meat eating gambling intoxication illicit sex these are sinful activities by giving up these sinful activities we can become pure and virtuous and pious and when we chant hare krishna it is very easy to follow these pure principles hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare by chanting this hare krishna maha mantra we will get the will power to so to say no to the wrong things in our life and by saying no to wrong things your future is glorious thank you very much thank you very much